you're wondering what that is or who did that, Lot Sky was definitely the one on the beat. He takes this very hilarious moments on social media, makes them into beats, and these beats goes viral. Now, he's worked with several artists, from Rude Boy to King Josh to Kiss Daniel, you name it. We'll find out all the details and all this inside scoop from him as we're joined with one of Nigeria's most viral producers, Lord Sky. It's a delight to have you, Lord Sky. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Okay, so Lord Sky, I was, I was mentioning the artists that you've worked with. You know, let's talk about the very first big artist that you worked with and uh, the, the most, would I say the, the most interesting? So let's talk about the first artist. Let's not be the first artist you worked with and then the most. Uh, okay, the first, the first artist I worked with, I wasn't even really, time. I was, uh, I just had a hobby and it was in 2000 and I made a song for in Russia and yeah, yeah. Wow. It was really big inside. Cyprus, it was released in Cyprus. But after that, I didn't quite put the music production in 2016. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And that is it, are they still the most interesting as well? Um, I think so, because at the time I didn't know anything, but I made a joke. I was in the studio, and I was in the studio, and I was in the studio, and the studio, and I was in the studio. This time, uh, at that time, he said, I was sitting there and working on the track. I made the I made the banger, but I was just sitting there. So I think that was really interesting. Oh, it's all right. So, uh, Lot Sky, looking at the kind of uh, production you do, you, you are, you are you're a music producer. You make uh, good music. But you decided to uh, veer into creating social media uh, content with uh, the way you mix videos and create sound to make it um, you know, look funny. And how did that start for you? Is it that one day you were just like, ah, on my own day today, what do I want to do, what do I want to do? I mean, I try this if thing. I... So how did it start? So you, you know, say so you won't run now, but it just happened. How did it start for you, that whole idea? I, I did like this. Like, I had the first he used to play my head here. You know, sometimes he just sing stuff and it turns to me. So I was thinking, I think just die in my head. First one was Apostle. I was thinking, let me, you know, let the people that have followed me. So I didn't quite have to. Then I was just diving. In. I was doing some work. So I, and my studio was not going to. They said it was two weeks before. So I couldn't do more. So at the time, I'm like, oh, yeah, we just run this play music as I call it. And do this one for them. But when I did it, it went crazy viral. And one, they've not let me rest. Day. <laughs> of course, it's nobody will let you rest because the truth is that. Your beats are a hit. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be sharing my favorite ones of you very soon. But we'll go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we'll still be speaking with uh, Lord, my, uh, Lord Sky. Now, recently, the, the Big Brother housemates, Tatcha and, and um, Omashola, had gotten into a very bitter fight whilst <laughs> in the house. And they called it themselves names, you know, names like Backing Dog and Chihuahua. So Lord Sky decided to do that beat. The beat became a hit. And now there's actually a music video for it. So let's check out Lord Sky's uh, Chihuahua and Back in Dog. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> interesting. Social media is really interesting. We'll be back in a moment. Enjoy Lord this. Sky, I'm... <laughs> back in Dog. <laughs> back in Dog, Chihuahua. Uh, 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 back in Dog, Chihuahua. Chihuahua. And for those who are wondering what's going on there, in case you do not follow Big Brother, uh, Af Big Brother Niger, that was an altercation between... Ch uh, Tatcha, Tatcha and Omashola, Omar 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 you know, they, she was abusing him and he was abusing her back. And Lord Sky made a beat that went viral. Now, Lord Sky is a producer, uh, one of Nigeria's most viral producers on social media, and he's joined us today. Lord Sky, let's talk about this song first. What inspired you uh, to do it? And the reaction of Tatcha and Omashola when they came out of the, of the house and heard the song, what was their initial reaction <laughs> when, they, when they came out? In fact, I think 
Handling the account did what? Were you told to send the video of the fight? Okay, they sent you the fight and the, the video. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people were requesting and requesting handling a matter. Of, I, I feel like when he came to that, Percy probably took viral and stuff. A lot of places he heard. He was super excited. Out <laughs> to me and hung out one time. According to Tasha, he found out. On the day we went in the house, I think it was the final part when we were dancing, and she thought it was hilarious. So both of them went into them, and I think they had watching how the fight would transcend into something. Mm. So as as it is now, has this ever gotten you into trouble? Maybe I just ask because the way they pick up some kind of controversial things, going to make a um, video and has it ever gotten you into trouble before? She person not call you say what do you think you're doing? Have you ever gotten into no, trouble? I've never got. <laughs> Instead, I think who are super of the fact that I turn their water into something viral. I'm actually able to start something with. It. How viral they get content. It's only it's always been. I think the time I did transmission, I might have done transmission. I think with the IG, there were so many rumors that I stopped. Bye. Okay, so as it is now, are you the one who uh, puts the visuals together after doing the beats? You select the videos, you edit all these things together. Exactly how it's playing in my head. Yeah. So if I send it, it will be lost in translation. Mm, I'm not mm. getting it right. I do everything. Wow. All right. That's good. That's so good. So we're speaking <laughs> with um, producer Lord Sky, who is behind the song Chihuahua and behind several other hits in Nigeria, worked with several artists as well, and he shared with us the journey to making Chihuahua. We'll still be speaking with him more, exploring more about his art and his talent we'll go on a very quick break and when we come back let's guy will still be on the beat all right welcome back to the good morning Nigeria show and uh, before that break we still they talk to a uh, super duper producer we don't they you know cause a lot of controversial things based on the the, the productions we don't they do is uh, very famous for a couple of ones and uh, one way we just talk about now the one we do with uh, for Sacha and Omashola regarding the Small BB, if a BBN fights where they get that time, and we deal with Lot Sky. Lot Sky, how far this whole movement take be for you now? Looking at the current situation of the world, seeing that okay, everybody on the lockdown, coronavirus don't come, things are unstable or things are probably new to us. As a producer, for you now, how has it been for you? First of all, let's let's speak from that perspective, and how have you been able to handle the production business in this time? Okay, great. For me, for the virus time, I always expect my business to be something worldwide. So I work with in Nigeria. Yeah, I have a I thing is automated. But the fact that I've been in the only thing that is cut out is it's called recording. Then I can still make then over artists who make cinema artists mm -hmm. and you releasing if you're not able to the songs to the public now. So on that part, in fact I feel like I'm working more right now with all the artists in the creed before it was locked. Mm. Okay, so so as, as as it is now, um, for recording um sessions now, yes, yeah. as, uh, as the artist, you know, if you come studio, come do the re re recording session, is it? Would you tell them to record somewhere and send to you? May they, may you finish up on this side or? Most of them have in the studio set up. Yeah, it's probably the lab. Then they record your, and then they can send to the producer okay who has already sent to be working on it okay. so the same with 
technology. Exactly. <laughs> technology is helping us bridge the gap. Definitely. I mean, Definitely. we could have, we probably might have, you probably would have even refused if we invited you into the studio because you say, ah, I, I don't want to forget <laughs> myself. But now oh, we're sure. having this conversation because sure, technology sure. has found a way to um, <laughs> sort of bridge it. Yes, but of so. course, it comes with its own challenges. Yes, and so. One of the challenges would be the fact that now the reception is not so great, but that's one of the challenges. And I would like to, you know, throw that back to you as some of the as a question. What are some of the challenges that you've encountered? But we will come back, you know, we will come back to have that conversation with you. Edewo, let's look at, you know, the, the, the production scene and how this is going to really impact a lot of creatives in mm -hmm. this time. I really like the last question that you asked. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it like that because the truth is, as a producer, a lot of them usually have artists coming to, come the, studio to the studio to vibe with them. Vibe, yes. But now it's like, how do you want how to vibe? You now, now the, the, the way it usually used to be sometimes that they go, okay, the producer will first make beats, then send it to you. So, ah, sure you like this. If you can't come to the studio to say, oh, yeah, come and listen to my beats, he will say, oh, yeah, I don't make some beats, so he will send them to your email. You will listen. You say, okay, then you can see if you can write something to it. Send you a couple of beats, see if you can write to it. Now, the, the only situation there is that they have to come into your studio to voice because not every artist has access to his own homemade studio where he can record himself and send to you and there's a, there's what they say about this studio vibe where you go get you day studio you, know, your guys. you know when when i was a, a singer you know um, back in the day i own vibe i go into that studio like if i would like about it they know my story even for a kedja, they know my story. Wash. I go into a studio, I will hear the go to hear beats. Guys go there, they'll say, ah, that, that, that line makes sense. You go right there, ah, correct. Have you ever been in a studio, though? Yes, I have. I, I used to sing, not be joking. For real, for real. For real, for real. Though. You used to sing? I used to sing. Or back up? No, 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 I used to sing. No, no, no. Not, be, not be actual church <laughs> singing. Nah, vibe music. Now they give them, you know, crunk, all the same thing. Yeah, so oh, I, I used to sing that, yeah. So we understand the studio vibe where you go supposed to get when you enter the studio to write song. So it's going to be very difficult for you alone to just do your own side, put the earphone, not really listen the right, the vibe, because that whole studio um, ambience, that whole studio feel, you know, go figure them now because we can't be in the studio at the same time. But notwithstanding, a lot of artists don't record songs like that. You know, I know of some some artists that were doing collaborations with big artists, but because they're not there the same city at the same time, they the, shot. They, this one go record the own. Send and give the artist. So yeah, do your, your own verse. That one go do your own verse. Put them on top of the song. Send, send them the back. back. Then on the uh, producer go mix and master everything. Then to even shoot video yourself. Some of them, they do it like that. I go shoot my own part for year. Do my own. The director go shoot your own part for your own city. Then come together and mix everything to do a good video. And these are some of the challenges that we, we, you know, we find in these industries. Yes. And the creative ways we find to manipulate them. We can move them. around it, yes. Which is why we're going to be asking Lord Sky now. Uh, hopefully we've gotten over the challenge of the sound. Yeah. How have you, what are some of the challenges that you've experienced in your journey as a producer? And how have you found your way around them? Yeah. Like, like he was saying before, that's... Uh, a huge challenge right right now is you were recording the artists in the studio together and they say something you don't like you like, ah guy 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 i know this you don't want to change that uh -huh. yeah you get yeah. oh he's probably not on the pitch you want you'll be like ah no no we, we have to do it with it. Mm -hmm. but when you send it to him to record in in the studio you as the producer are not really in control of the recording session yeah. so he can just send whatever to you and you're like oh i can't send this back you then find you're sending over an hour trying to correct something mm -hmm. you could have just retaken in like one minute. Hmm. You get so that's a huge challenge. You not being together and even being able to control the recording session. So, so as it is that as as a producer, how have you uh, how, how have you guys um, devised a mechanism that can go around this? Is it that we know it's quite expensive to be sending large files back and forth, back and forth via internet and all that? But looking at the situation we're in now, is there? a new um, uh, way you want to go around this because you still have to produce music. Nigerians, they wait because Nigerian people, we not get patient. If artists no drop song in one month, they don't be old school artists. So they have to make sure that they are doing songs back to back to back. So as a producer now, from your own angle, what have you decided that, okay, which, is, which way you don't they use, where they work for you now? So that other producers, where they ask, oh, yes, so this thing, I don't know before, I feel trying. So as, as from your own aspect, what have you um, started to imbibe in your own system, where they work for you? Okay, so far, a couple of times, 
like um I think I've tried that like two, three, four times. So I'm here at this side and the uh, artist is on this side. But then there's a video call across at the same time. Oh, you do video call too? Yeah. Oh, makes with, sense. Makes with sense. Any of the platform. So while he's recording, you're listening as well, and you're like, oh, okay, do this this way. Or you can. It's mm. not the same thing as being in the studio, but it's like 50% of that experience. You can easily change, like, oh, that doesn't sound right, change that. And you could be part of even the lyrical creation at the same time once you have that video going on while the. Uh, artistic recording at his end. So when it comes to you, you know what you're expecting straight up. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's that's really very genius. I get one, one, one last question what I could like to ask you. I feel like I say, good day, be controversial. But the truth is, say, you know some artists go talk, say, now, nah, until when they enter the studio, they feel write song. Some of them know they even write song. We just start to, like, I can't have a DVD, they write How they go fit cope for this kind of matter now? Because it will take longer time to even compose the music if you are not even writing your lyrics from the beginning. And now, you do your house, I did my house. I will have to do video calls. You will have to correct me. How you go correct me when I don't get lyrics? Boris, how you, how you want I, to do that? I feel like desperate times call for desperate measures. Any young guy bites you and you push your reach on the corner, you settle down and write <laughs> and do the video call. Because some of them actually can't put out anything except they're in the studio, in the environment, and vibing of the producer. But once you feel that need, like that pressure, like I need to put out the song, I need to do something, right? They will probably settle down and relax away from the vibe a bit and write properly mm. or focus to try and create the song. Like now, we're going through very extreme measures to make sure this interview is going on with some of the network issues we're having and all of that, all of that. So it's the same way that we will press hard trying to make sure that this song come out right while we're recording. Mm. All right. oh, All that's right. kind of unfortunately. There's All so right. much that we want to ask. We might have to reschedule another interview again because I'm still not yet satisfied. There's so much that I want to choose out of you. I want to talk about your relationship with King Josh and how it feels to be working together with him. I want to talk about your the, the, the video that, you know, the list expected video that went viral there's so much that i want to ask you but unfortunately as much as i've said yes technology and internet has said no so we might have to be wrapping up the conversation now and but, but we look forward to having you again if you'd oblige us with your presence but thank you so Just much for joining us today. any day and i'll make sure it correct right, be, 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 be correct guy be correct quick guy. soon take care of be yourself <laughs> All right, so we just they talked to a uh, lot Sky, maybe uh, one of the Nigerian is producer, but due to some technical, you know, situations, that's all if they talk about. Technical higgly dip. Technical higgly dip. That's uh, the Patrick constant Rakahuda Baluta of the technical. <laughs> but you know the funny thing, those things, those words that he's saying, a lot of them are actually real words. Eh, uh, we know. But the problem is the communication now waiting. Two way, you say something, I understand. I say something, you understand. If I don't understand, you are speaking jargon. jargon.